actually it's not uh, that new that you might uh, be able to think at first impression because uh, Sweden has been taking part in uh, NATO exercises since, uh, since mid 90s. So it's not totally new for us. Uh, since a couple of years ago Sweden changed system to something similar to the NATO system. And uh, this basically means that the, it's quite easy for us to be a part of, of the NATO structure. Yeah, they're basically capable of the same thing as other fourth generation aircraft and uh, older third generation aircraft. It's a bit like the F-16 or uh, if you like it, uh, the uh, Eurofighter Rafale. It's a multi-role, swing-role machine capable of air-to-air, -air, air-to-ground and uh, reconnaissance. And we can uh, go from one role to another role just by the touch of a button. It was about 50 years ago since we last participated in the real uh, combat mission with the uh, fighters, so it's, it, it is a quite big step for the Swedish Air Force. I feel that uh, the, the integration has uh, made big, uh, big steps forward and uh, we think that for the moment everything works very, very well.